like that story from Emmett and Nora? Nora got sick and Emmett searched and searched for something that would heal her. Is there a time you needed something but didn't know who could help you with that need? I remember one time when I was younger and I was in a store with my mom and I went to look at a toy and when I looked up, my mom was gone and I was terrified. But fortunately, I was able to find one of the employees at the store and they called my mom over the intercom and she was able to find me. So, happy ending. Uh, but we have a Bible story for you today. It's a video and there was a man who needed help and he wasn't sure who could help him. So let's see what happened. One day, while Jesus was in Jerusalem, he walked by a pool. It was a special pool because people thought God used it to heal sick people. If you had a fever, or you were blind, or you couldn't walk, you could get in the water and maybe God would heal you. That's what some people believed anyway. But you had to wait until the water was calm and still. Then, when the wind made a wave or the water rippled, whoever was first in the water might get healed. Cannonball! <laughs> Next to the pool was a man who had been sick for 38 years. 38 years? That's like a lot of years. The man couldn't move his legs, so when he saw the water make a wave, he couldn't get into the pool. Jesus asked the man, do you want to be healed? The man lying on his mat said he wanted to be healed, but he didn't have anyone to put him in the pool. Jesus said, pick up your mat and walk. The man could feel a tingle in the tips of his toes, and then his feet, and then up his legs. And the man who couldn't stand up for 38 years picked up his mat and walked around. It was amazing. But some teachers of religious law who heard about it got angry. They said, wait a minute, mister. This is the Sabbath. You're supposed to rest and worship God today, not carry a mat around. The man Jesus healed said, the guy who healed me told me to pick it up. The teachers tried to find Jesus, but Jesus had left the pool and the healed man didn't know Jesus' name. Later, Jesus and the healed man met in the temple. Jesus told him, don't sin anymore, or something worse might happen to you. The healed man found the teachers and told them Jesus healed him. He was happy to be healed, and he wanted to give Jesus credit. But the teachers were still mad because Jesus had broken one of their rules. I mean, this was the first time this guy could stand up in 38 years, and it was a miracle. And these teachers are mad he's carrying a mat on the wrong day? Silly teachers. The teachers made trouble for Jesus, but Jesus kept on helping people, even on the Sabbath. He said, my father never stops working, so I won't stop. And Jesus still hasn't stopped helping people. Jesus was able to help this man and heal him. This is just one of many ways Jesus shows he is God. But it made some people mad that Jesus helped the man on the Sabbath. That was a special day. And those cranky men had made up a lot of extra rules that God had not made. They said it was wrong to carry a mat on the Sabbath. Why do you think they got so mad? One reason they might have been mad is they couldn't make Jesus do what they wanted him to do. Jesus is God and he does what is right, even when it's not the popular thing to do. Now we're gonna make a craft. I hope you like it. Um, this craft project does take a little bit longer than the other ones that you have done in the previous week, so just be patient. Maybe you can use this time just to gather the supplies and throughout the course of the day you can be working on your project. But what I've made today is the pool that the man sits next to in the story. And basically all you're going to need is a paper plate, you're going to need some paints, 
and then you're gonna need some rocks. So let's get started. So I wanted to show you just um, part of the steps here as I'm doing it just because this project will take a little bit longer because there's drying involved but it, then it's the perfect project to do at home. It's harder to do these paint projects and doing projects when we're at church because then we don't have time for it to dry. But you'll see that I've painted my paper plate blue and I'll probably do another coat just because it, you can still see a lot of the white coming through. Um, and then the other thing set that I've taken is that I have these rocks. Um, if you're anything like my family, we have a tub that I put by my front door of rocks that my kids collect. Um, and usually what happens is that I find them in the dryer and then they go back into the tub. So most of them have already been washed once. But it is a good idea to just take your rocks and I put it in. I have this like little plastic tub that I put it in and I filled it with water. You can hear my bird in the background right now. Um, but I filled it with water and then I just kind of um, dry them off a little bit because when you get paint and dirt together, then the paint doesn't stick very well to the rock. So you don't have to do this, but it's just an extra little step. And so, um, so my rocks are dry and now I'm going to paint some of them. I have some rocks that I thought were just really cool I, um, that my kids have collected. I mean, I don't know, they just have really cool, I love this one that it's like black and it has this white stripe, you know, going down the side of it. And then I love the white ones. I'm, if you know me, I like all things white and light and neutral. So for me, I will probably keep these ones white and then I will paint some of the rest of them just for something fun to do. They're all still very wet. That's why I kind of have them in this container you can see and they're not perfectly painted I thought it was kind of fun to have some of the rock show through um, And the colors is just you know an added highlight and then uh, My plate was still very much wet and I kind of crisscrossed As I was painting to make it look like waves. I don't know whatever be an artist and you get to do it the way that you want um, one thing I wanted to note was um, if you work from a light color to a darker color, I didn't really need to use water so much. So I started with yellow, then orange, then red, and purple and pinks, all those, and then the blues and the greens. Um, and it's just one less step that you have to do. But again, you're an artist and you can do it however you want. Okay, so now for the last step, we're gonna take some Elmer's glue and we're just gonna glue I mean a good amount um, all around the edges and then we're gonna stick our dried rocks um, into the glue and then you just gotta let it sit for quite some time like several hours maybe even overnight for it to dry so we'll do that right now So now the project is done and it's still wet right now. I think I show you there. Um, it's going to take several hours to dry. So you got to be patient, let it dry. Um, one of the things that I had thought of after your project is done is maybe you can even write like Jesus heals or I love Jesus or some kind of thing in the middle of the pool. But um, there, I hope you liked the craft project for today.
Our Savior, His love.